This is a short video to show you how classroom courses or courses that are uh, a blend of classroom and maybe some online modules would look through LMS 365. So here we are, we're in the course catalog as seen by an end user. And down here, I've actually already created a classroom course. So let's look at it from the end user's point of view to start with. So this is just alongside all of the other courses. I can obviously um, go to that course um, type and just, just look for classroom courses. But I'm going to click on our example here, go straight to the course. So as with all other courses, I get a, a summary of, uh, of the course. And I can see here that we've got a description. We've got a learning module that I've added, which includes uh, some pre-work. Uh, and we've even added some assignments. So this might be some coursework uh, because perhaps the course is actually a number of different sessions and there's coursework in between. So we can set these assignments. I can uh, enroll for a course and I can see that these, this is when the course is going to start and end. It's a one hour course. Uh, and I can, if this session isn't uh, appropriate for me, isn't okay for me, I can't make it, uh, I can request uh, another session uh, just by, by filling out this field. So I'm going to enroll on this course. Now that I've enrolled, I will get an email through my into my inbox. There it is. It's just coming in, uh, telling me that uh, I've enrolled onto this course. And um, you can see that I can now start uh, the pre-work. Um, and uh, that might be, uh, in this case, it's just uh, a simple little module that I've set up, nothing special. Uh, but this just uses the normal um, module builder for LMS 365. I'll come out of that now. Let's go and have a look at what's happening at the back end because that's really where the intelligence of classroom courses lies. So we're now back, we're now in the back end of the catalog. This is the administrative view and we can see there's our, our classroom course example. Let's go into that and let's um, let's look at that, uh, what options we've got available. So I can make changes to my modules if I want. I can also set assignments, uh, so coursework. Um, I can view other sort of data related to my course. I can, uh, I can manage course sessions. So this is where I might set uh, additional sessions. Uh, that is, you know, uh, point in time sessions uh, when courses are going to take place and provide all of the details um, such as uh, the room where it will take place, the time, etc. Um, let's go into the course itself and look at the metadata for that course. So we've got our course name, description and so on and so forth. We've got a category, we can set the duration of the course. Um, we can set the, uh, the maximum number of attendees who can enroll for the course. Uh, of course, we can set an approval as well. Maybe we want our uh, line manager to approve uh, the, uh, the course uh, enrollment. Um, down here, we can, uh, we've got various uh, options. Um, that I won't go in. You can see actually, yes, there's requests for sessions. So that's just turning on that little option so that users can say, actually, yeah, I'd like to, you know, I'd like it if you could run a course in November or something like that. Then we've got our enrollment. So I can add my users there, either as individual users or as groups. We can award a competency uh, and then we can set the, uh, uh, the course to go live. You can see I've enabled assignments and the module builder as course tools. Let's come out of that and go back to course management. Um, and let's go into the manage course sessions. So as I explained, this is where you set the actual um, dates and places that those the course is going to take place. So you can see there's one already set for tomorrow, the 29th of April. Let's create a new course session. Let's say this one is going to be on the 5th of March. We can set the time here as well and the time zone. We can set the room. Um, we can select a room from our, um, uh, from our Active Directory because normally those are um, added to Active Directory. 
uh, we can set the instruction instructor as well. So that's going to be Dan, myself. Uh, we can put a cost in there. Let's say that's five hundred pounds, and we can put in some information uh, about uh, our uh, about the session, saying you know this is the main course session. Um, we can allow users, uh, we can allow learners to register their own attendance, or we can have a, a sort of a roll call at the beginning, which the instructor would hold, and the instructor would then um, come back to the system afterwards and plug in who had uh, attended and who was absent. But in this case, let's actually say users can um, register their own attendance. We can still control that, so people can't... Uh, can't fake their attendance and we can do that by setting the QR code is required and that means that when users come into the session they have to use their phones uh, and, and uh, load up the LMS 365 app and just take a shot of a QR code which the instructor would have pinned up on the wall or on the door uh, to make sure that everybody um, can actually take the take a uh, can actually register the course and prove that they've been there. We can also request a signature, but in this case, we're not going to do it. So that's how we create a, uh, an individual session for a course. We can now see that new one has come up, uh, and that will have been registered in the other uh, in, in the front end. We can see here uh, that if we want to, we can print an attendance sign-in sheet uh, for the instructor to take to the course. Um, but obviously, that probably wouldn't be necessary if we had the QR. If we've uh, set up the session to have the QR code. And you can see the instructor can download the QR code for attendance tracking here. So let's just quickly go back and have a look. We should see now a second session. When I refresh, we should see that second session appear as an available option. And there it is. You can see it's in the meeting room. It's the 5th of May. Um, and that's it. That's the end of my video. Thanks for watching.